I've lost 130 pounds and I've spent the last nine years keeping it off. And what I learned on my journey, any time that I failed, it was because I was making my meals and meal preps too long and complicated. So I want to show you the quick and simple meals that help me get and keep big results. So the first one was yogurt and berries. Half a cup of yogurt and half a cup of berries. Now I chose Greek all the time because Greek yogurt has more protein than the regular and protein lowers your hunger hormone ghrelin and it helps you stay fuller longer. And you want that when you're eating in a calorie deficit because it's normal to be hungry because you're eating less than you're used to. So the Greek yogurt will keep you fuller longer. And I always get the plain fat free because I found that the flavored always has more calories. So I just take the plain and flavor it myself either with one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of low cal sweetener or there's the Tarani sugar free French vanilla syrup. So whichever one we have available, that's what I use to flavor that. And then I go back and forth, usually bloobs, sometimes straws, half a cup. Why the berries is because berries have a lot of fiber in them. You want the fiber because it's slow digesting. So the fiber and the protein is really gonna help you stay full. And I needed a snack that was super quick and easy, but also gonna help keep me full in between the big meals, the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the yogurt and berries did it for me. The second one was the breakfast. I needed a quick, simple breakfast. I had no idea what I was doing in the beginning. I knew I needed a tasty meal, but that was also gonna be filling and help me get started, but not be complicated, because I wouldn't be able to stick to it. So oatmeal, berries and peanut butter. I would do half a cup of quick oats, a cup of water, a teaspoon of sweetener, a pinch of cinnamon, and a tablespoon of peanut butter. I'd microwave it up and then I'd stir in half a cup of thawed berries, usually straws at breakfast time. And again, the fiber in the oats and the berries really help keep me full combined with the fat in the peanut butter. And that was a really good meal to help me get started. So just so you know, or idea of measurements, this is a half a cup. And that was my portions for the yog. It's gonna be for the next meal and for the oats. And this is a tablespoon. It's faded obviously, cause we use these have since the beginning of our journey. Kyle and I still use them. Sassy, my husband's lost the same amount of weight as me. And this is the teaspoon. The next meal has been Sassy and I's late night snack for years because it's super quick, easy, and it really helps keep us full at night. And it's really important to have a filling snack so that you're not starving when you're sleeping. This is 2% cottage cheese. We do half a cup and then put a teaspoon of low-cal sweetener and a teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa powder and then a tablespoon of peanut butter. The Cottage cheese is casein protein, and that's slower digesting protein, so that really helps at night because I don't sleep well if I'm hungry, and then I'll make really bad decisions in the morning if I didn't sleep well and I'm hungry. Combine the cottage cheese casein protein with the peanut butter, the fat and the peanut butter, really filling snack. And all of these, as you can see, there's a theme. They're literally tossed together and go because that's what Kyle and I have always needed. If something is too long and complicated, I won't stick to it. I'm not that smart. I need something very simple that's gonna help me get results right away. And these meals are tasty, they're super quick, they're not complicated to make, and they're there. I keep all these foods on hand all the time so that I can grab them and go. Because if I don't have something quick and easy ready to go and I'm hungry, I'll end up eating things that I don't want. So that's why the quick, easy meals. And yes, it's cool to change things up every once in a while, but it's really important for me to have those staple quick meals that I have carried throughout my entire weight loss journey and I'll always have them on hand because that's what got me the big results and keep the big results. If you've been overweight for most of your life like Kyle and I were, your mind is gonna constantly be looking for an excuse, for a way out to never do this again. So 
This is also why the quick and simple meals, because you wanna eliminate the excuses, but in a really easy, fun, tasty way. Because again, if it's not easy, if it's not fun, if it's not tasty, you're gonna find an excuse. So this is what has also helped us eliminate the excuses. We both have busy, busy days like everybody else. At the end of the day, you're tired, you wake up in the morning, you're busy, you gotta get to work. Nobody wants to spend hours making meals, so this is why we always want to set ourselves up for success and that's why Sass and I have been able to do this for so long you know like we always say this isn't our first rodeo we have made a lot of mistakes we've gone on up and down we've figured things out we've made mistakes and this is what we have come up with throughout the years you need staple quick easy simple meals that you can grab so that you have no excuses left except to do what it takes to get the results and keep them. Yeah, it doesn't mean we don't change the meal plans. You guys see we change it up all the time. Exactly. Um, it doesn't mean we don't go out to eat. It just means, like Nicole said, some version of these meals has been with us the entire nine years that we've been doing this. So the next one, we have always needed some sort of pizza. We never wanted to give it up. Anytime we did, we would fail. So we've always had pizza our whole journey. We made either mini pizzas with English muffins. Right now we're making low-cal pizzas on these ancient grain tortillas from Costco. And in the, um, we just did, I just did a protein full day of eating and I show you my protein pizza that's in my guilt-free cookbook. So we have always varied it up, but always had some form of pizza, some low-cal sauce, a low-cal crust, some lean turkey pep, these ones are from Costco, some light cheese, and Bob's your uncle, and I do have a Bob for an uncle. Last but not least, we needed a dessert, but we needed it to be low-cal. We also needed it to be quite a lot because we have big appetites and we need to eat a lot of food or at least feel like we're eating a lot of food while staying in a calorie deficit. Jello and Cool Whip came in as the savior. We, when we discovered how low calorie Jello is and that you could eat, if you pick like the sugar-free, fat-free kind or the little cups, the ones that Kyle and I found in the refrigerator section at Walmart, they're five calories a cup. So five, 10, 15, 20, four cups for 20 calories, plus you top it with the fat-free Cool Whip, it's super tasty and we felt like whoa, we can eat all this and it's barely any calories. It was like an ha ah moment. Like we can do this. We have low cal dessert. We feel like we're eating a lot of it. Something super quick too. You put it in a bowl. It looks beautiful. It tastes yummy. That really was like. And when you finally get into a calorie deficit and you're enjoying the tasty food, you like the Jello and Cool Whip, you're motivated because you're seeing the results on the scale in the mirror in your clothes. Exactly. This is really what has kept us going. We need a dessert, we need some form of pizza, we need super tasty snacks, filling breakfast, and that is what has gotten us through. Weight loss should never be a punishment, so quick, easy, and eliminating excuses. And if you wanna know the exact portions and meals that I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link's down below and code Nicole will save you 10%. And when it comes to protein, this is HTLT Steps. It's the best tasting protein powder ever. We love the maple cookie because we actually put it in our Greek yogurt and make like Greek yogurt bowls or locale Greek yogurt dip. I put like half a scoop in half a cup of Greek yogurt for myself and you can dip fruit in it. You can top it with locale sear. I do all of that. Code Nicole will save you 15% off and the link is down below. I tried to be fast. <laughs> not very graceful. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't, please like and subscribe and show the world this cute video. So, and watch this vid and this vid because Sass and I are real friends losing weight in the real world where we're loving our food, eliminating excuses, making things super quick and easy. So thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next vid cutie. I was going to be a ballerina, but then I decided to be a rock star. You know, like, they do this and then they play the guitar on concert? Yeah, see, that's the thing about you. You're so graceful and talented. You could be a dancer, a rock star, whatever you want. Look, see, look.
Yeah, see? Told you. This is what Galerie is doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see ya. Bye. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. <laughs>